Let's break down what the foreclosure crisis has done to Chicago neighborhoods. There are those that will be fine. On the other end, there are those that have no hope of recovering in the near future. And then there are the neighborhoods that could go either way. East Garfield Park is one of those neighborhoods. It's close to downtown, close to the highway, improving schools, places for families to visit. In 2007, Business Week had East Garfield Park as one of the top 10 up-and-coming neighborhoods in the nation. And then after the market fell out, you know, we had a lot of speculators and people that were coming in here and buying property, trying to flip property, who overextended themselves and just walked away from their properties. East Garfield Park is number three in the city on percentage of rental properties that are in foreclosure. That's where the Neighborhood Stabilization Program comes in, a federal government initiative that provides grants to cities hit hard by the foreclosure mess. Chicago received $153 million to invest in communities, but not just any communities, those that have the right formula to bounce back in part because of their strong neighborhood organizations and partnerships. It gives us a tremendous opportunity uh, to work with a well-established base. Uh, so, you know, these nonprofit and, and community organizations really understand these communities. They know where the problems and issues are. And I think if, if one thing you can say about uh, the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, it really is a program about working and bringing people together. Mike Thomas helps coordinate the NSP effort in East Garfield Park. We only proposed four streets, four blocks, um, that we thought were with targeted resources, targeted dollars, that could help actually help stabilize the neighborhood and stabilize those blocks. Because so unfortunately, those blocks were having a negative impact beyond just that individual block. In order to stabilize a community, there needs to be more than just house rehabs. We have to take a stand. We have to do something. We can't talk about what other communities are doing. We need to do it right here. Melvin Bailey is director of the Male Empowerment Project, a nonprofit that rehabs NSP homes with locally hired labor. The job situation in this community is like hopelessness and despair. The dream for the neighborhood is that we can employ these young men and women and get them a different outlook. You don't have to hang on the corner. NSP's big idea works like this people from the community rehab houses in their own community that are then sold for an affordable rate, with a government subsidy to help those who could otherwise not afford to own a home. But there's a catch. The new homeowner has to receive financial counseling so that the whole foreclosure disaster won't repeat itself. It's an investment in responsible home buying. There are generations of people that have always rented, never owned a home. As an owner, you are truly committed because you have purchased not only into the block, you've purchased into the community. One good-looking, cared-for house on the block gets other developers thinking. Before NSP came into the area, there weren't really any activity going on. But when NSP came in, the investors came. So now you have other investors rehabbing properties. When we got this property here, it was an eyesore to the community. No one wanted to be close to it. Uh, it could be dangerous for someone to be snatched into the building. So what we did with NSP, we came in and we rehabbed the building. And we worked to bring this up to what it is now. And the neighbors are so grateful. It's also a commitment to residents who have weathered the storm and stayed in the area through the good and bad times, like Leo McCord who has been a resident of East Garfield Park for 51 years. What I would like to see this neighborhood be is a mixed race, mixed income sort of community where everyone knows everyone. Neighbors are once as the neighbors were around in the area when we, when we first moved over here. It's something that I dream of. The people of East Garfield Park have big dreams for their community dreams they are just beginning to see take shape. Change lives, restore hope, and rebuild communities. That <laughs> We can live up to our mission, and that would be a, a, a great dream for us to be a model for the inner city, then be a model for the rest of the country. Even if it means fixing up one house at a time. Because when a neighborhood is on the brink, every house counts.